शुक्लां ब्रह्मचार सार परमाम जगत व्यापिनी वीणा पुस्तक धारिणी मेदा झाट्यांधकारापहाटिकलिकादतीसने संस्थिता वंदेता परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा नवा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुण्या कौम्यहम पाणीय प्रवेशाय इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय लघुकारा बिकॉज ही वॉन्ट्स टू गिव ऑप्शनल फॉर्म्स that you hit here in this case when you have these examples <coughs> sorry so va lopa shakalasya shakalyasya munehe for shakalya shakalyasya uh, for shakalya muni there is lopa when ashi pare when ash pratyahara letter follows avarna पूर्वयोग पदांत यवयो सो यकारा और वकारा विच इज प्रिड बाय एन अवर्ण एंड दिस यकारा और वकारा शुड बी एट द एंड ऑफ द पद एंड इट शुड बी फॉलोड बाय द लेटर विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अश प्रत्याहारा देन अकॉर्डिंग टू शाकल्य मुनि देर इज अपा देर इज एन एलिजन ऑफ दैट यकारा और वकारा सो बाय से शाकल्यस्य मते है वॉट इज बींग सेट बाय पाणिनी महर्षी दट आय पाणिनी मुनी सेज दट आय रिस्पेक्ट दि अर्लियर आचार्य ही सेज ही इज अ वेल रिस्पेक्टेड व्याकरण आचार्य ड्यूरिंग बिफोर पाणिनीज टाइम ड्यूरिंग और बिफोर पाणिनी मुनीज टाइम एंड ही सेज आय रिस्पेक्ट दैट एंड देर बाय ही से आय डू नॉट एग्री दैट देर शुड बी लोप एंड सिंस इन व्याकरण Uh, we respect all the acharyas whoever is has done sadhu prayoga whoever has shown us what are the vyakarana rules we respect therefore panini maharshi is also doing the same thing he is respecting shakalya muni and says that in his view there should be lopa in my view there need not be lopa thereby we get two forms we respect both shakalya muni as well as panini muni and since panini muni himself respects shakalya muni by saying that lopa ha shakalya se therefore we take vibhasha here and we say either we do lopa or we do not do lopa now why is this lopa shakalyasya this uh, vibhasha is being shown here but why this optional form is being shown in a sandhi prakarana in this sandhi prakarana ach sandhi prakarana why this uh, sutra has been brought in by lagukara that we'll see further when we see uh, what sutra comes next see now we have seen guna sandhi we have seen guna sandhi ad guna ad guna we have seen it's an ach sandhi now when you have an optional form with uh, application of lopa shakalya then in asau aditya for example okay, so in asau aditya all these are other examples so asav aditya we saw asav aditya this is already given so i'll take it away now look at this example asav aditya you get asav aditya or asa aditya ke aste you get kaya aste or ka aste now let's take this asa aditya or asa aditya we have not seen that sandhi but to, uh, i had mentioned it in passing when akara is followed by an akara what should you get you will get dirga sandhi you should get you will get as in you should get this is the expectation when akara is followed by akara that time there is an expectancy or there is an applicability of another sutra sandhi sutra ach sandhi sutra which is savarna dirga sutra is uh, uh, akas uh, savarne dirga so akas savar akas savarne dirga akaha so uh, ak pratyahara letter akara is included in a uh, 
and a is included in ak. Therefore, akaha, akaha is after an ak letter, aka savarne, savarne, akara, uh, savarna for a is a, and therefore savarna for a is a, and thereby savarne dirgha bhoti. Akaha parataha, akaha parataha, uh, not akaha parataha, akaha paschadiha, akaraha, so akaha savarna, savarna ak. ak. Ak followed by a savarna, meaning a followed by a in this case. A is savarna for a. When that happens, that time savarne dirgha bhoti and dirgha for akara is akara itself. So what should we get? Asa, asa, not space. Asa adityah, not asa adityah, asa adityah. We should get as in from the understanding that we have thus far. If we do not take the option of Lopa Shaka, let's say we will get Asa Vaditya, Vakara will remain. If Vakara goes away by Lopa Shaka, let's say we get Asa Aditya and then once we get Asa Aditya, there is no sequence to uh, Sandhi rules per se. From what we know, there is no sequence. So, uh, I do not have to recall the number as to what is this number which gives me Akasavarani Dirka, I know the Sutra. So I would end up applying asa aditya, uh, asa aditya, I would end up applying the agas savarne dirga and I would get asa aditya. In this case also same thing, ka aste, I would expect agas savarne dirga to apply and I'll get kaaste, kayaste, ka aste, but ka aste, why will I say ka aste? When I'm say, saying it in a sandhi, then wouldn't I say kaaste? No, I would not. That is explained further and that is that is true elsewhere also, in other examples also. Asma Uddhara for example, Asma Uddhara, here if you say Asma Uddhara or Kaka, kaka Aste, Kaka Aste, will I say Kaka Aste or will I say Asma A and U, will I de, a, do Aad Gunaha, Avarnat Gunaha Bhavati, Avarnat Aad Gunaha, Avarnat Pare, uh, Achi Pare, Achi Pare, Gunaha bhavati. So here I'll think that there is a guna which is applicable and I'll say asma, a, a and u will give you o as guna. So I, I may think that it is asmodhara. Asma yudhara or asmodhura, not asma udhara. Dvatra, here you will have savarna dirga sandhi. So dvatra will become dvatra. Not dvavatra, that is one form, but dvatra is the thinking. But this erroneous thinking is taken away. That's why Lopa Shakalya says introduced by Laghukara in the Atsandhi Prakarana. He is saying when you apply Lopa Shakalya, he says by the rule which is which separates the Tripada Saptadhyayi, uh, sorry, Sapada Saptadhyayi from Tripadi. Sapada Saptadhyayi or Saptadhyayi means the, the seven chapters, group of seven chapters are called Saptadhyayi, is called Saptadhyayi. Along with one quarter means 8.1. Seven chapters plus 8.1, the first quarter, are called Sapada Saptadhyayi. Is called Sapta, uh, that section is called Sapada Saptadhyayi in the Ashtadhyayi. And the last three quarters of the eight chapters are called Tripadi. So, with the Trayanam padana, Padanam Samuha, uh, that is what? Tripadi. So, Sapada Saptadhyayi and Tripadi are two divisions. And whatever is said in the Tripadi, the last three quarters, that is invisible to the whatever is said as in whatever rule is prescribed, whatever is done in the Tripadi, that is invisible to the earlier. Sapada Saptadhyayi. Even within the Tripadi, the sutras have a sequence. So sequentially they will apply. This is a general rule. Okay? There may be uh, rare exceptions and wherever exceptions are there, Sampradaya will point out that this is an exception for a particular reason. The exam, uh, because otherwise the sutra will be useless. If uh, you apply this in sequence, a particular sutra will never have application and thereby you have to break that sequence. But otherwise, generally, you will have sequential application of the sutra. And what does it mean when you say sequential application of the sutra? 
in tripadi whatever is done is not only not visible to the earlier 7 plus 7 chapters plus a quarter but also within the tripadi within the last three quarters the sequence whatever is applied later is not seen to the earlier sutras whatever vidhi whatever rule is prescribed and whatever activity takes place based on that rule whatever derivation is done that derivation that form is not visible to the earlier sutras thereby this purvatra siddham is brought in here because what he wants to show now is that dwa atra asma uddhara all these sandhis are in sixth chapter the Atsandhi is in 6th chapter. Purvatra Siddham is 8 to 1. 8 to 1 is the beginning of the Tripadis. The last 3 sections of the 8 chapters are 2nd Pada, 3rd Pada and 4th Pada. The first Sutra in the 2nd Pada of the 8th chapter is Purvatra Siddham. Purvatra Asiddham. This section that follows, this has an Anuvritti. Uh, this does not have an Anuvritti. I mean this itself is an Anuvritti to all the 3 Padas till the last sutra a uh, a uh. the last sutra is a uh, a uh. we have seen this earlier till that sutra purvatra siddham purvatra siddham has anuvritti adhikara this entire thing goes uh, till the end of the eighth chapter meaning end of the last pada fourth pada of the eighth chapter now when purvatra siddham contains this Lopa Shakalyas, which is the 8, 8.3.19. In the third Pada of the 8th chapter, the 19th Sutra says Lopa Shakalyas. So by this shlok, uh, Sutra, if you have taken the Vibhasha and you have taken the option of doing Lopa, then you would get these second forms, which forms Ka Aste, uh, Ka Ka Aste, not second forms everywhere. Here it is Ka Aste, here it is Ka Ka Aste, here it is Asma Uddhara and here it is Dva Atra. So when you, I'll just swap this so it's easier. Yeah, so in the option of Lopa, Lopa Shakalyasya, the first form is application of Lopa Shakalyasya. Second form is without applying the Lopa Shakalyasya, uh, not doing Yakara or Vakara Lopa. So when you do Yakara Vakara Lopa, you get these first forms. Ka Aste, Ka Ka Aste, Asma Uddhara and Dvatra, where you expect an Atsandhi to take place after this Lopa Shakalisa. So you have the uh, Atsandhi application of Savarna Dirga, Akas Savarna Dirga or in this case Adhunaha. But both, of, both these sutras or all these Atsandhi sutras are where? Are in the See, Adguna is 6187 and uh, Akasavarani Dirga is also like that. It is in the 6th chapter. So in 6th chapter you have Adgunaha here, Vruddhirechi, all these sutras are Atsandhi. See, it is an Atsandhi Prakarana. Sandhi Prakarana. Uh, Akasavarani Dirga is also, see, Inga Padanta Ati. Forget the meaning of these uh, uh, sutras if you do not know, but I just want to point out that see Akasavarane Dirgha, all these are in 6th chapter, 1st Pada. Wherever they are, specifically in 6th chapter or not, but they are in Sapada Saptadhyay. That is our interest. Sapada Saptadhyay, one, or even if they were to be, were to be in the uh, uh, Tripadi, then as long they, as they are before 8.3.19, meaning till 8.3.18, any sutra cannot see this, the karya which is done by Lopa Shakalyasya. And Lopa Shakalyasya application has elided the Yakara or Vakara and this form is the result of Lopa Shakalyasya in the Tripadi and that to 8.3.19. That means if you have chosen this Lopa Shakalyasya and you applied this, this form is not visible to Akasavarne Dirgha, Adgunaha or any sutra up till 8.3.19. Till 8.3.18 inclusive, no one can see this form. This form is seen, Kayaste. So if you think that, okay, let me apply 61101, which is Akasavarne Dirgha, you cannot think of that sutra because that sutra sees this form. 
to apply that sutra you have to have savarna but you will not have savarna because uh, you you will have savarna but what kayasti will be the uh, yakara is there a is there here you can apply uh, savarna dirga but here you cannot apply savarna dirga you cannot say kaste you can say kai aste will become kayaste there, there also it is varna melana sorry it is not uh, savarna dirga sandhi here because it is kai yakara ending padanta is ending with padanta has yakara pada is ending with yakara so here you cannot apply savarna dirga because there is no savarna there is one is a consonant and another is a vowel so there is only varna melana but here there is an expectancy because we do not know this uh, sutra purvatra siddham but purvatra siddham says the earlier sutras cannot see this uh, tripadi sutras derivation application therefore ka aste will remain ka aste ka ka aste will remain ka ka aste asma uddhara will not have guna you will have asma uddhara and dva atra also similarly will remain dva atra it will not become dva atra so that is the application of purvatra siddham now let's look at purvatra siddham so what does the purvatra siddham say i explain this sutra but with the vritti we'll see purvatra asiddham purvatra asiddham purvatra is an avyaya asiddham asiddham is uh, prathama ekavachana it is a, it is as it is saying asiddha it is not seen it is it is not uh, it is not a uh, what do you say siddham is it is not an established form purvatra earlier this form will not be established whatever is the result of this siddha what is the siddhi rupa siddhi that rupa siddhi is not there purvatra earlier it is not there this rupa siddhi of any sutra starting from 8 to 1 purvatra earlier so purvatra for each sutra that follows from 8 to 1 each earlier sutra will be purvatra will be purvatra and that sutra will have a siddhi rupa siddhi of the later sutra so what does the vritti say sapad saptadhyayam prati tripadi asiddha tripadi asiddha means tripadi asiddha so sapad saptadhyayam prati 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 is an avyaya prati so prati will govern second case sapad saptadhyayi jhayim jhayim second case of sapar saptadhyayi towards the first seven chapters and the first quarter of the eighth chapter that is sapad saptadhyayi tam prati or tam prati srila tam prati uh, achya sam so okay so ta, uh, tam prati or ta, sapad saptadhyayi okay jhayi uh, jhayim prati tripadi tripadi asiddha it is not visible the sutra is not visible the form is not visible to the earlier sutra and not only for the earlier seven chapters and a quarter but also within the tripadi tripadyam api within inside the tripadi also inside the last three quarters of the eighth chapter or the entire ashtadhyay also purvam prati param shastram asiddham shastram is vyakrana shastram sutram ityartha sutram asiddham bhavati tripadyam api within the tripadi also purvam prati purva purvam shastram prati purvam shastram equal to purvam sutram prati param shastram is equal to param sutram asiddham bhavati example hara iha so here it says hara iha hara iha is what so these are four examples he gives hara iha hara iha is हे हरे सो हे हरे संबोधन हे हरे इह इफ यू वांट टू से हरे इह व्हाट विल इट बिकम यू विल गेट सी एच ओ ए वाय वा सो यू विल गेट हरे इह एंड इफ यू अप्लाई लोपशाकलस्य यू विल गेट हरे हर इह यकार लोप विल टेक प्लेस by lopa shakalya so he is not considering this form at all he is considering this form because it's an example for 
पूर्वत्र सिद्ध सी एचओ एवायव इट सेल इज इन दी प्रकरण सो इफ यू अप्लाय दैट दैट विल बी विजिबल टू दी सपाद सप्ताध्याय बट हियर इफ यू अप्लाय लोप शाकल्य हियर हियर यू अप्लाइंग लोप शाकल्य Sorry. So, so when you apply this sutra lopa shakalya sya, then you will get this form. Hara iha. He hara iha. So actually I'll, I prefer writing it here. So you see on the same line which sutra is applied. So when this sutra is applied, what do you get? 8.3.19. Earlier sutra that we saw is 8.3.19. That when you apply you get he hara iha. Hara iha. And this, now you say that this hara iha, if you are tying, first you get what? He hara iha, you will get he hara hara iha by echo eva eva. So echo eva eva will give you this form. And then lopa shakalis will take away this yakara, optionally, but Although it's an option, you have applied. You have taken that option. Then you get hara iha. Now, what hara iha? There, iti ad guna ha iti prapte sati. So ad guna iti prapte. When ad guna is applicable here, that time, purvatra siddham iti krutva ad guna ha na bhoti. That sutra has no why? Because it will still see this form. It will see the sapada saptadya form. It will not see the tripadi form. This is a sapada saptadya form. H O Y Y V. This is a tripadi form. So tripadi form is not seen. Uh, see, see, lopa shakalya says what? So the question is, yakara does it need from H O Y Y V? Without that, how will you get yakara? See, you have hare iha. How will you get yakara at all? Lopa Shakalya says, Vyoho, Vakara Yakara Yoho, Vyoho, Padantasya, Padasya, so Padasya is equal to Padantasya, 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 and Padantasya will change the number now, it will become Padanta Yoho, Padanta Yoho, Vyoho, Vakara Yakara Yoho, Lopa Shakalya says, Lopa Shakalya says, Lopa Shakalya says, when Ashipare, so Ashipare, so th this is the Anukritti, Lopa Shakalya se Padasya Padanta Yoho Vyoho Ashi, but Vakara Yakara has to be there, otherwise how will you do Lopa? And Vakara Yakara will be there, why will you not apply H O Y Y here? H O Y Y will apply or not? Here, Hare Iha, what is the Sandhi for Hare Iha? Yes, Lakshmi ji, what will be the Sandhi? H-O-Y-Y-Y is Prapta, right? Yeah, so you will have, you, there is no reason you will not apply H-O-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-Y-
don't apply it, then you, there is no sandhi at all. There is only varna melnam. Yakara and ikara, there cannot be a sandhi. Between, an, between a hull and an ach, there is never a sandhi. There is a sandhi between ach and ach, or there is a sandhi between hull and hull. Between hull and yach, ach, either way, between ach and hull, or between hull and ach, there is no sandhi. This is just a varna melnam. Yakara and ikara, if you put together, then you will say, Harai iha, whether you say harai iha or harai iha, it is just varna melana. But if you do apply lopa shakalyasya, then this yakara will undergo lopa. If you have not done this hoyavayava sandhi itself, then lopa is not prapta. <coughs> lopa is of yakara vakara. Yakara vakara, it's yakara or vakara itself is not there, then where is this prapta? Ikara is a hush letter sorry, ash letter, and also, of course, a, a purva yoho. A purva is also there. A purva yoho, vakara yakara yoho. So, the vakara and uh, this a, uh, which is preceding this, uh, uh, which is preceding that, preceding what? Yakara. The akara which is preceding, avarna which is preceding yakara, which itself is followed by what? Followed by, a, by an ash letter. That yakara or vakara will undergo lopa. Now you are saying H O Y V I V A. should it be applied? As in, should that yakara vakara come from that? It can come from anywhere. There are two sources of yakara vakara. One we have seen. Other we will see el elsewhere. Uh, basically, this bho bhago ago apurva se yoshi. That section itself, there is a yakara vakara. So, either that yakara vakara, or this yakara vakara, h o y y o yakara vakara, that should be there. Otherwise, loka shakalya itself is not prapta. Is that clear? Yeah. There is no 8.1, no, is, is not overruling. You are saying it will overrule. It is not overruling. How is it overruling? Overruling means what is there before you override that, overrule that, you replace that. It is, there is no rule such like, uh, like that. That kind of an overruling can be there by an apuada anywhere in the Ashtadhyay. Here you are not doing overruling. No, it is just prapta. It is a, it is a choice given to you. Whether you take shakalyasya mata and apply the uh, lopaha, elide the yakara or vakara, you don't do it. You take panini mata. In Panini Mata, you don't uh, uh, elide it, but Panini says you can take Shakalya Mata also. So you take Shakalya Mata, you uh, elide it. And if you elide it, then don't go back and do Sandhi. That is what it is saying. All that is saying is that if you apply any Sutra from the Tripadi, do not go back and... Uh, so yeah, so when you say not visible means what? The rule is not visible. The rule is not visible, the form is not visible. So earlier sutra, no earlier sutra can see the next sutra of the Tripadi and entire Tripadi rules rules or their forms, derived forms are not visible for the uh, Sapada Saptadhyay. How does one know means what? The, the rule says what? What is the what is the meaning of Lopa Shakalyasya? If you understood the sutra, what is it saying? Avarna, Yakara preceded by Avarna and Yakara followed by by ash letter, yakara or vakara can undergo lopa. It can be elided or it cannot be elided. It is up to you. How does one know? Because you are in the, doing the sandhi. So, if you are doing the sandhi, the letters are together, you know. Letters are together, uh, avarna is there, yakara or vakara is there, and ash is there. Now, this lopa shakalas is prapta. Now, he is giving an option. You apply it or you don't apply it. That is how you know. Now, whether to apply it or not, to apply it, it is up to you. But it is saying, if you apply it, after eliding, do not do further sandhi. Do not do further sandhi means what? Do not do any other sandhi from the Tripadi or the earlier sutras. So, you cannot do uh, Guna sandhi or any of the Ach sandhi, you cannot do when you have had Lopa Shakal Is that clear? Kalyanji? Okay. So the form is hara iha and what? Uh, uh, 
एंड दिस इज ए फाइनल फॉर्म बिकॉज आद गुण प्राप्त सती पूर्वत्र पूर्वत्र सिद्ध असिद्ध सो अजसे सो डोंट अप्लाइड एक्चुअली इट इज नॉट प्राप्त प्राप्त इज रॉंग प्राप्त इन द मैंड इट इज प्राप्त आई शुड से प्राप्त वुड बी दट इट इज एप्लीकेबल इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल so i was just trying to explain but then i don't want to put it in writing because uh, that will be wrong it is prapte because manasi uh, prapte if we do not know the uh, form if you do not know the rules you do not know the rules then it is prapta but actually it is not prapta why because it is asiddham purvatra asiddham uh, since it is yatah purvatra asiddham tatah apraptam न दृश्यते इट इज नॉट सीन सिमिलरली इन द केस ऑफ हर इह सो हर सो ही इज गिवन सॉरी ही इज गिवन द फॉर्म हर इह सो इट विल रिमेन हर इह और यूल गेट हर इह ऑप्शनली दिस इज ऑप्शनल फॉर्म देन विष्ण इह विष्ण इह विल बी वॉट इट विल बी हे विष्णु हे विष्णो हो हे विष्णो इह so hey vishnu you have will be you will get what hey vishnu sorry vishnu oh so h o y you will get what vishnu so a o so a uh, i how so you will get vishnu ih but then if you apply loka shakalyasya you will get hey Vishnu, Iha, and then if you think Adguna will apply, it will not apply because that will the uh, Tripadi form is not seen. This is a Tripadi form, Lopa Shakal Yasya. This is a form by H O Y V A Y V A H. So the Sapada Saptadhyay form is seen by the Sapada Saptadhyay. Tripadi also sees that form. So Tripadi sees this Vishnu or Iha. And when you apply uh, Lopa Shakal Yasya, you get Vishnu Iha. But then Vishnu Iha form is not seen by the earlier sutras, so you cannot apply Ad Guna. If you start looking at Ad Guna, Ad Guna, if you go back to, then it will see this form Vishnu Iha. Thereby, <coughs> uh, Ad Guna cannot apply because Vakara is not Aka Avarna. <coughs> Sorry. Not vakara, you will get how. You will get how. H O Y V A will not give vakara. H O Y V A will give how. Okay. And Vishnu Vihar, therefore Vishnu Vihar. I how I and how are the adeshas. Not yakara vakara. Yakara the padanta. So you will get padanta yakara due to H O Y V A V A. आदेश इट्सेल्फ इज नॉट यकार आदेश इज आई आव आय और आव ऑल आदेश आर यकार और वकार एंडिंग देर फोर दे आर पदांत यकार वकार एंड देर बाय एच ओ यवा विल लीड टू लोप शाकल्य एज एन ऑप्शन नाउ ही गोज बैक टू लघुकार गोज बैक टू दी सो दिस इज एन ऑप्शनल फॉर्म विष्णु विह Now he goes to the next uh, Sandhi Sutra, which is Vridhi Rajesh. So actually, before going to the Vridhi Rajesh Sandhi Sutra, but he is he is explaining what is Vridhi. Vridhi is Vridhi Rajesh pare Vridhi bhavati, but Vridhi Sanya has to be explained. Therefore, he gives a Sanya Sutra for uh, the next uh, Sandhi Sutra. He gives a Sanya Sutra. संज्ञा सूत्र से इज वॉट वृद्धि आत ऐच आत एंड ऐच वृद्धि प्रथम एक वचन आत सॉरी आत इज विच केस नाउ 
when I say it's a Sandhi, uh, Sanya Sutra, which case will Aat be? Shima ji, which case will Aat, Aat be if it's a Sanya Sutra? First case, yeah. So it will be first case. It, so we can't get confused that it is Panchami like Aat Gunaha. It's a uh, Sanya Sutra. So Aat and Aich. Aat and Aich. Aich is a Pratyahara. Ai. So A O Ai Au. In that Ai and Au. So you will get. Uh, the, uh, Aich is not a Pratyahara, I am sorry. So uh, what happens is, see, I will tell you. Uh, Vridhi Aat Aich. So it's a, Aich is a Pratyahara. But this Takara, Tapara Karanam is not going with A really. I will come to that. Okay. I will jump the gun. So uh, let's look at the. Uh, so what is saying? First, it is saying at, at. So here, this tapara karanam is not really needed for a. That's why. Otherwise, there is no harm in taking it as tapara karanam. But tapara karanam, what we have seen, it is uh, tat. Uh, so tapara karanam is tat paraha and ta paraha yas, yasmat. So ta paraha yasmat. If you take bahuri, if you take, then a. The takara which follows a that has restricted a to that particular matra. If you take uh, tat paraha, then this aich, aich is what? Ai and o. So a o ai auch. So ai auch that is aich. That is a pratyahara. But this pratyahara ai and o are limited by this the limited to their own matras. So ai is two matra, o is also two matra. A is also two matra. However, I can also be pluta. I can stand for pluta. I does not have a raswa, but it can stand for dirgha and pluta. Whereas au also, au also can stand for dirgha or pluta. It cannot have a raswa. It does not have a raswa. And then there are other vedas also. But what is uh, done by taparakarana is I is limited to only the Two matras, not the pluta. Pluta is not included. And similarly, O also is limited to dirgha, not pluta. A, however, A itself does not stand for pluta. A stands for only akara. So if you say A, and then this ta goes here, just to say this ta goes here, goes with this, then a will still stand for only Dirgha Akara. A does not have a Pluta. What has a Pluta? A has A stands for A, Akara, Akara and Pluta. A does not stand for it. Why? Because, because A is not part of the, is not listed in the Maheshwara Sutra. In Maheshwara Sutra what is listed? A a is listed, E is listed, U is listed. So A, E, Un, real Rit, A, O, I, out. So A is listed, A and O are listed in the Mysore Sutra. A is not listed, but A is included in A. When you say A, E, U, A, E, Un, in that Sutra, Mysore Sutra, first Mysore Sutra, A, Un, in that A includes A. So A stands for Akara, Akara and Akara. Raswadirga Pluta. However, A does not stand for anything. A stands for itself. It is not included in the Sutra. It is part of A in the Ayun Sutra. Therefore, even if Taparakarana is not done for A, still A will stand only for Dirgha and therefore Akara. Dirgha Akara will get Vriddhi Sanya and I will get the Vriddhi Sanya where I stands only for Dimatrika I not Trimatrika Ai. Similarly with Au. So Akara, Aikara and Aukara get the Sanya Vridhi. They, have, they are called as Vridhi. Vrid, uh, Lagukara says Ad Aicha Vridhi Sanya Syat. That's all he says. Ad and Aich. Uh, Ad Aich is, means what? Ad and Akara and Aich, I and O, get the Sanya Vridhi. Vridhi Sanya is a, is a Bhavari. Vridhi 
ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ದಿ ಅಷ್ಟಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ವೈ ಡಿಡ್ ಪಾಣಿನಿ ಮುನಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ದಿ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯವಾದಿ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಅ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯವಾದಿ ಹಿ ಡಿಡ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಬೈ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೃಹ್ ಧಾತು ಬೃಹಿ ವೃದ್ಧೌ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೃಹು ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಬೃಹು ಧಾತು ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಆಡಿಂಗ್ ಮನಿನ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆರ್ ನಿರ್ಗುಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಭೂತ ಭೂತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಬೃಹಿ ವೃದ್ಧೌ ಹೌ ಬಿಗ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಮಹತ್ ಬೃಹಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೃದ್ಧೌ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಂಜ್ಞ ಬಟ್ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಸ್ ದಿ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಬಟ್ ಔಟ್ಸೈಡ್ ದಿ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವೃದ್ಧಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮಹತ್ ಬೃಹತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಬಿಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಲೆಸ್ಲಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಅ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ವಿಶೇಷ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವಿಶೇಷ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಅ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ಬೈ ಅ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಲೆಸ್ಲಿ Uh, big so if that bigness which is not qualified is limitlessly big therefore it is not finite and brahman is infinite and that is the meaning you get with vriddhi and by using the sanya vriddhi for whatever he use art and age but by using the sandhi uh, vriddhi as a sanya and not writing the sutra itself as adaich vriddhi but writing it as vriddhi radaich he has uttered the name of bhagavan he has uttered the name of by that itself by uttering vriddhi itself there is a prayer done that is the sampradaya's answer to it that why did panini maharshi uh, not pray for his work to com- get completed and to uh, for it to remain and you look at it the, the beauty of the prayer is that many of the other uh, eight eight odd uh, vyakarana shastras are lost in the sampradaya but panini maharshi is this panini vyakarana has been retained because his prayer is so beautiful okay so see where it is so you are saying why should takara not be with a so you can't apply sanskrit that we know to the sutras what is taparakarana you recall the taparakarana sutra what does taparakarana say taparakarana has two uh, samasa i had explained that even now i explained it taparakarana means that which is so taparakarana ta ta paraha yasmat if takara is after something that will restrict the matra of a is a in the maheshwara sutra is it in the maheshwara sutra a then why do you need restriction that which can stand for other matras needs restriction is i and o are i and o in the maheshwara sutras yes then they stand for their savarna don't they if they stand for their savarna then if you say i or o or h in a pratyahara then they include their savarnas also but panini maharshi is saying that vriddhi is a sanya for dimatrika ai not trimatrika pluta ai not for pluta au also but a does not have a savarna a is a there it is always dimatrika dirgha there is no pluta for it there is no hraswa for it why would you need taparakarana for it no need it can be said that for for uh, spashtikaranam it has been put sometimes it is also said that way but it is not needed so we will say takara has only one purpose here 
it does not restrict R because R is always dvimatrika. It need not need, uh, have a restriction. It need not be contained. I is, I and O have to be contained because otherwise there is ativyapti. Ativyapti is in vriddhi will apply as a sanya for I and O also and it will apply for I, O also, trimatrika, lutaha. For that also there is vriddhi sanya but would be. It is not meant to be. Vruddhi is a sanya only for Vimatrika. Is that clear? Okay. So moving on, Vruddhi Rechi. Vruddhi Rechi is the sutra, which is a uh, Sandhi sutra. Vruddhi Echi. So Echi Pare. Echi Pare Vruddhi Bhavati. What is the Anuvruddhi? Look at 6 1. 88. This sutra follows Adgunaha. It follows Adgunaha. Avaranath Pare. And when what follows? This Eka Puro Parayoho is also there. Eka Puro Parayoho has an anurutti till triple one. So Eka, Eka Puro Parayoho in the Adguna sutra it says Gunaha Ekaha Adesha Sa Puro Parayoho. Avarana and what follows that is ach, achi pare achi comes from ekoyanachi achi goes till 125 so it is achi is there in all these sutras eka puro parayoho it is a kind of an adhikara it does not need it but you look at adgunaha achi achi pare at avarnat achi pare puro parayoho ekaha guna adeshasya now achi is here also out of that ach, when ach follows, then when ach follows an avarna, then gunaha was prescribed. However, he says, when ach follows, in that ach, what exactly follows? H follows. When H, H is a part of ach. So when H follows, in the ach also, when H follows avarna, then he is saying do not do guna but do vruddhi instead. Guna are what? Uh, Adeng guna. Adeng guna. And vruddhi is vruddhi radhech. So he is saying don't replace it by akara. Don't replace avarna and the following ach with akara, okara or uh, adeng guna. So a, a, akara, ekara or okara. But he says replace them with Aika, Akara, Aikara or Aukara. When, when H follows. When H as a part of H follows, so part is taken away and there instead of Gunaha, Vruddhi is prescribed. So it's an Apovada. So Vruddhi, uh, when H follows, Avarna, that time you do Vruddhi is saying. So here you have Anuvritti of what? You will have Anuvritti of Achi. And for to ach achi, achi achi. So that ach which is an h, that is the meaning. Achi achi pare, what? Aath, aath is also there. Aath, so I'll say aath. Since I want achi and uh, achi to go together, I'll put aath here. Aath, aath. What, what is it saying? Ekaha. Purva Parayoho. So for both the earlier and the later, meaning Avarna and the this Avarna, uh, which is said by Aath Panchami, and Paraha, which is Paraha, Echi Achi, meaning H, H which is an Ach, or Ach which is an H, both of them Purva Parayoho, for both of them Ekaha Adesha says. What is that Adesha? Vritti, Natu Gunaha. There is Vritti Adesha. <coughs> I'm sorry. So, Ad Echi Pare Vruddhi Ekadesha Sya. That is the Lagukara Vruddhi. When uh, this H letter follows an Avarna, then there is a single Adesha for both Ekadesha. So, ek, Eka Puro Parayoho is also said as Ekadesha. Single Adesha. Both will be replaced by a single Adesha. What are the examples? Before that he says, Guna Apovadaha. So, Guna Apovadaha, 
is making a samasa gunasya apavada ad gunaha from ad gunaha sutra what is prescribed is guna so gunasya apavada vritti bhavati in this scenario which scenario examples are given four examples krishnasya ekatvam samasa so you are doing a say krishnasya ekatvam and those who have done samasa this will be your shashti uh, subanta so you will get krishna pratipadika plus what you will get the pratya uh, supratya uh, nyaso sam so nyas you will get nyas so krishna plus nyas this is basically this is the what is called as a uh, laukika vigraha alaukika vigraha will be what krishna plus nyas then ekatvam so plus eka ekatvam is ekatvam ekasya bhava ekatvam so ekatva plus am plus am this am is also prathama ekvachana nyas is prathama this actually am is what su actually su pratya which is replaced by am in neuter it will be replaced by uh, am so ekatvam being neuter but both are what this is shashti ek shashti pratya and this is prathama then there is a supluk between uh, within the pratipadika this is all the entire thing krishna plus nyas plus ekatva plus su get the pratipadika samya krutadita samasascha pratipadikam so they get pratipadika samya and there is a supluk within the pratipadika there cannot be a supratya so there is a uh, i think supodhato pratipadika yo so there is a supluk and then you will get what krishna krishna so supluk nyas will go away it will be elided and su will be elided su or actually am adesha does not take place that am is su actually so neuter before that adesha itself su is replaced uh, not in replace elided there is a supluk there is a elision by look krishna plus ekatva remains so the meaning of what krishna ekatvam is krishna se ekatvam the meaning is retained but this supratyas are dropped so you get a sandhi now between krishna's akara of krishna and ekatva by ad guna ha if we didn't know the vruddhi rechi we we would have done guna and guna would have been the ekadesha however he says when in the ach h follows h e pare avarnat h e pare puro parayo puro paray are what this krishna akara and ekara between these he says you do a vruddhi sandhi so vruddhi will be what a and a a and a vruddhi will be ai so you'll get ai krishna ai katva so you'll get krishna ai katva lot of typos today sorry so krishna ai katva and then this is what this is a pratipadika it got a pratipadika sanya by krutthadita samasascha pratipadikam and pratipadniyat pratipadikat you will get suojas amouts so you will decline this now krishnai katva plus su and that will become that will be replaced by am in neuter you will get uh, you will get am um, i'll not mention all the rules so krishna ekatvam that's how you get krishna ekatvam next example uh, there is a question dhiradhi stands for dhirgha uh i explained twice ama seema ji just asked this question i explained twice please listen to the recording i'll not answer this again same question has popped up ama 
See, nine o class, nine o clock class is difficult for this reason. See, last question, Aat in Vridhi Raja stands for Dhirga Akara. Is Raswa Akara also included? It is not included. How can it be included? Does A stand for A at all? See, what stands for Savarna? Let's get that straight. What stands for Savarna? For Savarna, you uh, see, uh, in the Adgunaha A, A Varna. A Varna means all the Savarna of A. A, A and A. All three are included in A. But in A, nothing is included. A includes only A. Dirga A, Akara. A includes all three Vedas. Raswa Dirga Pluta. Therefore, A, in Adgunaha, tak, Taparakarana has to be done for A. A, A is Panchami of Akara. Akara as in, I am seeing the letter Akara, but A. A is the Pratiparika there. So, Pratiparika A, when you say A, that A includes all three Savarna. Savarna is A, A and A. But A, when you say A in Vridhir Adaij, that A is not same as uh, Adguna A. Adguna is Panchami A. Panchami Ekavachana. The A in Vridhir Adaij is a, uh, it is a, um, it, is, it is a singular, it is a Prathama Ekavachana. It is a Prathama, Prathama Vibhakti. And Aat Panchami of what? A. In the Aat Guna Sutra. Therefore, A includes all varieties. There you need Taparakaranam if in uh, Adeng Gunaha. Not Aat Gunaha. Adeng Gunaha you need Taparakaranam. That Aat, Aat Gunaha is a uh, Vidhi. And what is a Guna letter? You get by Adeng Guna. So, Ati in Adeng. That is Taparakarana for both sides, for A as well as for uh, Aeng, Aeng also. Here in Vridhi Radha H, Taparakarana is only for H because R does not need Taparakarana. I already explained uh, thrice now. I hope it is clear, otherwise listen to the recording and then we will see. I don't understand this question, Amma. You asked me after the class, I don't understand by the Sandra Swandhi Sutra, how do you get uh, Raswa Akara? I don't understand the question. Okay. So, I will discuss this after the class. If there is a confusion, hold on to it. As long as you see these examples, we will revisit the question. So, Ganga Uga. Ganga Uga is what? Ganga and Auga. Again, Samasa. I will not do the earlier pra Prakriya again. What does Ganga Uga, what Sandhi will apply here? Again, Au is H. Therefore, you will get, so Auga is Pravaha. Ganga Yaha, Auga. Ganga Yaha, Auga is equal to Pravaha. The flow of Ganga. So Ganga, you will get Ganga and Auga. All this, these steps I am skipping. These steps, Nyas. So you will get this Nyas and Nyas and Su. This is Shasti Ekvachana again. So you will get Shasti Ekvachana Pratya, which has undergone Lopa. And you will get Prasama Ekvachana here. Auga, that will also undergo Lopa. Look and then you will get Sandhi here between Akara and Aukara. What is Sandhi? Avarnat Pare Gunaha Eti Prapte. Guna Prapte Sati. Then Vridhi Rechi. By Vridhi Rechi you will get Ekadesha. For Akara and Aukara there is a single Adesha which is the same Au. So Ganga Uga. So actually Augaha. Let me check whether it is. I think it would be. Uh, I think Oga, it will be Oga I think, because he has given four examples, so it will be Oga, not Auga. So it is Oga, not Auga here. Oga is Kuch Samuvaye Ghai, Samuha, okay, Samuha is one meaning, 
Yeah. So, so other meaning is also there. So, oga, not auga. But adesha will be what? The akara and okara uh, by uh, stane antara tamaha you will get au, au adesha. So, you will get ganga ganga And then this pratiparegam ganga uga will decline by taking supratya. Similarly, deva ishwaryam. Deva ishwaryam is what? Devasya aishwaryam. So, here you will have deva plus aishwaryam. Aishwaryam. So, deva ishwaryam. And what is this? Again, shashti here. Krishnasya sya Krishnasya Autkanthyam. So, Utkantasya Bhava Autkanthyam. Krishna plus Autkanthyam. Okay, so Vridhya Adesha, ek, Ekaha Adesha Puro Parayu. We will stop here. We will look at the next sutra tomorrow. Uh, Let us look at the questions. Before that, let, let's finish the prayer and then we look at the questions. Dhatavasane Nataraja Rajo Nana Dadakan no Panchavaram Uddhar to Kamasanaka, the Siddhan Eta, the Marshe, she was Sutrajaram.